In this video, we're going to showcase the Listing Spreadsheet Pro version of the Listing Spreadsheet. Uh, if you want to see all the Chrome extensions and kind of an in-depth tutorial on how to use the Listing Spreadsheet, be sure to check out the Listing Spreadsheet Lite video. That's the free version of this and the link will be in the comments below. So the way this is set up, we've set it up exactly the same way as the Lite version. You can change your sources, your date code, and your cost per item and those will all feed into the SKU that's created for you, as well as the item number. And then the main differential here is that rather than just putting a stock or a boilerplate description for all of our conditions, we've added the ability to really fine tune that and talk about the markings that are in your books, the media that's included. So a lot of textbooks will have like a CD or a DVD, or perhaps it's missing. And then a lot of times if you're sourcing from library sales, you'll have library books. And it's really nice just to be able to add short descriptions with, uh, with abbreviations. So we'll show you how that works. Um, the main goal then is that your good copy, I don't like to spend a lot of time describing why it's good or why it's acceptable or why it's very good. But if you can add just a few short snippets to show that you really looked at the book that you're selling, that gives a lot more confidence to the buyers. And they know that your acceptable copy is maybe marked that way because it has uh, a lot of markings and maybe some dog-eared pages versus water damage, which would be um, completely unacceptable, but it would still fall under that same listing from Amazon standpoint. So we'll show you how to use this. To start with, you can add a description trailer at the top. Um, some people feel strongly one way or the other. I don't necessarily like to include a trailer, but some people like to mention that it's prime benefits or if you're shipping worldwide that that's included. You can add that to the description or you can simply delete that, no big deal. And let's just walk through a few books and show you how to use this spreadsheet, how it can speed up your listing efficiency and really help you build uh, some good, fast descriptions. So the spreadsheet works the same way. I've got the same couple books that we're gonna walk through. And again, you're just simply gonna scan those books with your USB barcode scanner, or you can type them in by hand if you don't have a scanner. Uh, remember, if there's more than one listing that appear when you click this Amazon link, you're going to need to use the ASIN. We'll show you that. In this case, we don't need to use it. We can see the current rank, 356K. So I'm going to go back over and put that in right now, 356K. I don't need the ASIN. If I'm going to price this, Amazon's the only other prime seller. We can tell with the Keepa chart that this has sold several copies. So let's say I'm going to come in at 1750 the condition on this is very good. There are no markings, so I'm simply gonna put the letter N up here, and that's gonna build over to here. It's gonna say unmarked copy, and then the very good description here is crisp copy with a sturdy binding and light shelfware. So that kind of covers all of the angles. There's no CD included or not included. I'm gonna leave that blank. If this was a library book, I'd simply put the letter Y, and it's gonna build that out in my description. So former library book, unmarked copy, et cetera. If there were a couple of markings, we could change this to L for light markings. And it would say former library book, light markings and or highlighting. Of course, if this was the actual book, it'd either be acceptable or good. So we go ahead and put acceptable there and it would go ahead and, and fill in that description. So you can fill in the descriptions yourself on the back end of the spreadsheet here. We've got all the conditions and you can add your basic descriptions here. We've also got collectible descriptions here. For the markings, I like to do none light, medium, heavy, and then textbook. So typical wear with used stickers and possible markings. And again, you can feel free to edit these or add additional ones as needed. For media, we've got not included, CD, DVD, floppy disk, Blu-ray, whatever else. If you like those, again, you can change the, the abbreviations and or the descriptions. You can change what it says for former library book. And then we've also added the ability to add in a few extra sections. So let's say you sell a lot of CDs, you could call it specifically out and say, hey, here's the CD artwork section. And then we're gonna say no noticeable wear to the artwork, light wear or heavy wear. So again, you can really customize this sheet to speed up your listing process to give a good accurate description without taking a lot of time to actually type out that entire description each and every time. So let's show you another example of how this works. I got a, another road bike maintenance book here. We're gonna scan it in. It's gonna build our link for us. And again, let's scroll over. We'll show you the SKUs that were built. Again, it shows the source, the date, the number, as well as the cost. We're gonna go click on this. And remember, if it shows two different items, we need to make sure we pull the right ASIN. So we're gonna come over to the page. The ASIN is up in the URL up at the top. It's gonna to be that 10 digit number. We're gonna simply paste that into place. 
put the rank of 77,000 or 77K on this particular book. Um, again, this is this, these are the same books we use from the listing spreadsheet light video. Lots of sales, only one prime offer. They've got one in stock. As soon as they sell out, we're next in line. I'll probably come in at $29.99. Let's say this copy is very good. No markings. It's not a library book. I'm going to leave it alone as is. So you can see it builds out this description. Um, unmarked copy, crisp copy with a sturdy binding light shelfware, and then prime benefits including worldwide shipping are available. And again, if you don't want to use those description trailers, simply delete it and the spreadsheet will update and remove those as well. A uh, couple more items here. Again, this isn't just for books. I've got a CD here. We're going to go ahead and scan. Go ahead and scan that in as well. And then we're going to click over to the Amazon page. And remember, just one item up here, so we're on the right item. We're good to go. Again, I don't put the rank if it's not a book. I only like to track my books' ranks. If you're selling mostly CDs, maybe you just want to track your CDs' ranks, and you can put that 28,000 rank in there if you'd like. In this case, I'm going to come through. Go ahead and click on Prime, and we're going to say, perfect, let's price this. It's got a handful of sales, maybe one a week. We'll come in at $12.90. So we go ahead and do our price, $12.90. Condition is very good. Now, this isn't necessarily included, so this is going to give me a description for a book. So you may want to change these, or again, you can use some of the extra columns to really highlight what you want to do. And they're hidden here between columns P and T. We're going to right-click. Click unhide and it's going to bring up the very bottom description that we added here. So extra number three, I replaced with CD artwork. Extra number two, you might want to talk about the jewel case. If it's, you know, the original, if it's cracked, if it's really damaged, you might want to talk about the CD as a separate column. Does it have, uh, you know, any noticeable wear? Does it have any scratches? And you can put all that information in there as well. Now the artwork here is, is excellent. So we're going to say no wear to it. That was my abbreviation. So artwork has no noticeable wear. And again, if we do want to um, change the way it's done because of the condition tags here, we can change our very good description to be more generic and not necessarily refer to CDs and or books. And then one last item. Again, I've got my uh, markers here that have been opened. We're going to pretend they have not been opened. Simply scan that barcode and we can go over to Amazon to find that specific item as well. And again, when this pops up, there's more than one option. So we're going to make sure we pull the ASIN over. So simply copy paste that number. Again, I'm not doing rank since it's not a book. We're going to come down here. Amazon's on it for 827. 799 is going to be my price. And when I put N for new, it's just going to build out the regular description, brand new. It's in its original packaging. There's really nothing else to say about those. Um, new is new and it's going to match up with the item on Amazon. So that's how to use the pro version of the spreadsheet. Again, by really calling out the specifics on the markings, on, uh, on any other categories. And again, these are completely editable. So if you don't do a lot of books and you want to do other products, you can tailor this spreadsheet on the back end under descriptions to really meet your needs. And if you do a lot of books, you can kind of work with these same ones or tweak them to match what makes sense for you. So that's the pro version. Hopefully it'll make your uh, listing stand out a little bit more. Give buyers confidence to buy from you. Thanks for watching.